Hello and welcome to chapter 49 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver. We will continue with the positioning and we have done the first five steps uh, but now we will move on to one of the probably most difficult steps or, or more controverted because of the of the way it's carried out. It's the step of the friendly URLs. Um, remember in our application we have um, in the table product we have the str cell, which is a string we used to um, write for what we will use it now. We created it in the beginning and 40 chapters later, there it is. Um, here we would have to, well, the things we should fill it in properly, since I filled it in quite random, we will fill it in without capital letters, without accents and underscores instead of spaces. Okay, I'll do it very quickly, you know we can do this from the administration too, but in this case I will do it here because it's faster. Standard, here blue shoe, for example, and here I will write some registers that will be different among themselves. It's very important that they are very different, and with this we would have it all. The first ones are the, the interesting ones, not to be wasting time filling in the rest. Fine. We already have in table product in the str cell. We will go to the URL we want to appear. Uh, oh, fine. Um, friendly URLs. Let's have a look at this. Um, there is a file called HD Access, which you've probably heard about. Um, let's connect to the remote because this 000 web host forces us to use is his HD access or at least part of it as you will see I will download it I click here and then click in the green arrow okay we already explained that after all this is FTP program I open this HD access and it tells me do not remove this line or else the mod rewrite will stop working um, okay what is this mod rewrite thing it is the rewrite of URLs okay uh, what is this URL rewriting thing? Um, it's interesting that when I write here shoes, for example, and this is just an example, uh, wellingtons.html, I get the wellingtons I've got in my page. Obviously, it doesn't 